So I just made a video about how I save money on groceries and I'm gonna make a special trip right now to my local grocery store, it's called Vons. I have my meal plan, I have my list, so I'm gonna show you exactly what we do. And first off, it is a fabulous Friday or something like that. I don't know what it's called, $5 Friday? But anyway, there's a $6 deal at Starbucks, so I'm gonna go get that really quick. So this is the deal that they have today, so this is what I'm getting. Okay, so they call it Friday Love, and I had $5 off of a $5 purchase, so I actually got the, the grande drink and a pastry for free. So I got my Starbucks. Now I'm gonna go see how the line is for the deli area. So we're looking for the 80-20, and sometimes they have it wrapped up already. So let's go look. Okay, this is, this is the 80-20. So this should give us the dollar and 83 cents a pound right now. So yeah, one dollar and 83 cents a pound for the 80-20 and it's limit 10 pounds. So let's see. Okay, so I got about nine and a half pounds here. So that's ta times dollar 83. So let's see how much that was. Okay, so now they have some milk for a dollar 83 for a half gallon. So let's head on over and see if they have some of those. Okay, so we're looking for the Lucerne half gallons. Like these ones, see it says $1.83 each. $1.83 each for either milk or bread. And it's the Lucerne brand. So that's what we're gonna be doing. All right, let's grab a couple from back here. I'm just gonna get the 2% today. Yeah, I see you. These are good until April 5th, so that'll be fine. Okay, so I'm getting a Simply Orange. It's $4.49, but I have a dollar back on Ibotta. So I just scanned the barcode to make sure it matches so I can make sure I get my cash back. So put that in there. Oh, you want to hold it? Yeah? Okay, here you go. There you go. So we are going to be looking for some tea. We are out. It's on the list, and it is 50 cents yeah. off. So this is the one that we like. So this is the one we're going to get. Okay. You want that? You like it? Okay. So all the canned veggies and the beans and the tomatoes that are the signature select, that's like the store brand, they're all 50 cents each right now. So we're going to grab a few of those. Okay, so we're going to grab a canned corn. Put that in there. Okay, so let's grab one can of chili beans. And we'll grab some low sodium black beans too. I like to get the low sodium anytime I can find it. There we go. So next we're gonna be getting Kraft Mac and Cheese because it's also 50 cents, but also on Ibotta I have 50 cents, 15 cents off plus $1.50 when I buy five. So I'm gonna be getting these for quite a good deal, about 20 cents each. And now we'll have a look at the tomatoes. They're also 50 cents and we'll do like the no salt added and things like that because we can use this for a lot of different stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna get two cans of the whole peeled tomatoes. Go. Okay, let's get these ones, the no salt added diced tomatoes. We'll just get one of these. There's room in the cart for me. And all the pasta's on sale today too, but we're gonna skip it because we have plenty of pasta on hand for now. All right, now we're heading over to the produce section to get some potatoes and check to see if any fruit is on sale. Okay, we're gonna get these um, Idaho russet potatoes for $3.99 for a five pound bag. So that's a really good deal. We can use it for a lot of different things. So we're gonna go ahead and get some grapes for $1.83 a pound too, or some of the fruit this week. Let's find some good ones here. Okay, so this is everything that we're getting today, including the meat on the bottom there. My list is checked off and we're gonna be going to another grocery store next week for a few other deals. But for now, this is it. Let's see what the total is. Okay, so we scored about nine and a half pounds of ground beef at 80.20, and then we've got a bunch of canned items, some tea, we got milk, we got orange juice, we got some potatoes and some grapes. $38.21, and then the second receipt is $5, and I'm gonna show you right now how I get the cash back on Ibotta as well. So half of these mac and cheeses are going to be free today, so, and they last until October, so I'll make sure that we use them all up before then.
So first I just open the Ibotta app and just add any offers that I want to make sure I get cash back for and then hit upload receipt. I'll just take a couple pictures here of the receipt. If it's longer, I'll take two and occasionally it won't read the UPC. So I'll just have to scan the items individually, which is fine. I just make sure I find the offer and increase the number to a quantity, however many I bought on the receipt and then go and scan each UPC. It's super easy. And then after that, I just collect my offers. Then it automatically just adds the total to my cash back. So we got a bunch of mac and cheese, some canned beans, a bunch of canned tomatoes, canned corn, two half gallons of milk, a um, half gallon of orange juice, some grapes, five pounds of potatoes, some tea, and then about nine and a half pounds of ground beef. This is 80-20 ground beef, and all of this was about $43, plus I saved two or three bucks on Ibotta as well, so it's around 40 bucks for all these groceries, so we did really well. Anytime that I buy meat in bulk, I get home and immediately separate them using my vacuum seal machine. It just helps make sure that I have everything in its individual portions. I have more time to weigh it out and just make sure it's all the same sizes. And this will last about six months or so in the freezer. So I really can't pass up the savings here. $1.83 a pound is just a really great deal. And look at all that meat. We'll have plenty for quite a while. So I'm one happy mama. So here's a few of the things that I made over the last five weeks. And I made a lot of things from scratch and really challenged myself to use a lot of the things were at the bottom of my freezer and even some broken lasagna pieces and things that I've just been hanging on to to figure out what to do with. And if you're looking for any of these recipes, they are available on my channel in all of my previous vlogs from the last five weeks. And I do have a lot of content on my Facebook and on my blog as well. So there are some recipes there for you as well if you'd like to check that out. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a little thumbs up. And if you have any other tips and tricks on saving money on groceries, please be sure to leave them in the comments. I'm always looking for new ways to save. And please be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more recipes and more budget-friendly tips. I'm always sharing new videos, so please stay tuned. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for watching.